Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to show you guys how I created this really easy, always easy, makeup look for the fall. Happy fall, I'm so excited that it's finally freaking here because I'm sick of summer, although it's still kind of hot in LA, but whatever. It'll get cooler soon. So if you guys want to see how I got this really easy fall makeup look, as always, browns, because browns are just it for fall and in general keep on watching but first primero subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at tiff by tiffany and let's go you're just always gonna see me with this headband because it just <clears throat> helps get everything out of my face so we're gonna prime the skin and i like to switch it up a little bit today i'm gonna use the natasha denona primer this is the face glow primer we're gonna rush through like the complexion part just because, you know, we all know the drill. So actually, I do have a new foundation that I have raved about on Instagram. I have not filmed in a while, but I cannot stop using this freaking thing. It is gorgeous. So for today's foundation, I'm gonna go in with the new Milk Makeup Foundation Stick. It is gorgeous. The name is the Flex Foundation Stick. I have it in the shade Golden Honey. And I have been adoring this foundation. Comes in this cute little stick here. It's a little circle. And the finish for me is a very natural skin-like finish. It dries down to a soft matte but remains quite dewy. So I have even seen people who use this and they're more on the oily side and it helps control their oil. And then I've also seen people like me who's drier and it keeps my skin very dewy, hydrated. So it's a really good foundation for all skin types, I really believe. So I'm just gonna do two swipes. And it is pretty lightweight. I just feel like being full coverage today. I'm going to go in with more of a larger Kabuki brush this time. This one is by Morphe. This is the Morphe Y6. And blend that bad boy out. Also, see how easily it blends? Sorry if you noticed that I have like a lot of shadow here. I don't have a um, window on that side. Okay, and then I always like to go in with a beauty sponge and press it in. And then for concealer, um, I'm just going to go quickly in with, again, the CoverGirl True Blend. I am in the shade Warm Honey. Just going to apply that really quickly because you all already know the drill with this uh, concealer. I love it. I adore it. I'm just going to apply it. Oh, and I'll be right back. Okay, the lighting changed a little. I the window I uh, close the blinds I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little closer okay so I have my concealer on and then I set it with my hourglass veil translucent sorry I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows and for that I'm gonna go in with the covergirl ultra fine brow pencil I am the shade rich brown I highly recommend this for a drugstore Eye pencil. Look at the difference. And then just fold. Okay, fold. Comb. I'm just gonna set my brows with Elf Wow Brow. Looks like this. This is in the shade Deep Brown. that little bushy look okay so for the eyes today I have a brand new eyeshadow palette that I just purchased I have not purchased an eyeshadow palette in a cool minute just because I have it all <laughs> So when I saw this palette, it really spoke to me because 
I just haven't found something like it and I don't have those colors. Also, the neutrals in there, it's a very, they're neutrals I've been dying to have. Um, you'll see why. So I'm going to go in with the new Artist Couture eyeshadow palette. So I really, really enjoy all these colors. I clearly have used these three because these are everyday looks. Um, I have swatched these gorgeous gorgeous pigmentation um, but again I'm filming a fall look so I'm going to be focusing a lot on these three once again and I will definitely play with these more probably more on Instagram than on YouTube first going to go in with the shade quickie which is this first shade here and going to go in my crease if you guys have not heard about Artist Couture, I have heard of the brand a couple years ago, but never, like nothing ever really stood out to me to purchase until I saw this eyeshadow palette, but I freaking love, let me bring you guys in. I just freaking love the browns that he put in there. Um, so Artist Couture actually belongs to a <clears throat> huge YouTuber by the name of Mac Daddy. He created Artist Couture and he's a great makeup artist. So I love what he does. I follow him over here on YouTube. I believe he's Latino too, to be honest. So I'm just going to keep blending it and I'm using a Morphe M513 brush. Okay. So now with the same brush, I am now going to go into the shade Frisky, which is this shade right here. Same brush. And just go right under that shade. Like, look. This is probably my favorite shade. I don't have a brown like this. So I am very very excited that fall is right around the corner I used to really love summer and uh, it's not that I hate it I do like it I love that I can go to the beach although I only went twice this year um, but I can get a tan on like there's just so much you can do but I'm just not a huge fan of the heat anymore I'm like, freaking love this and I've played around with these shades already and they're very easily blendable I'm just gonna bring it in a little bit over here okay now I'm gonna go into the shade rebel which is a darker brown this one and I'm just gonna go in with the same brush again and for that I'm going to really get into the corner here I really want this corner to be a very nice chocolatey dark brown wow that looks so good before I begin anything else I'm going to just go in with frisky which is the second shade I went with and just line my lower lash line and I'm just going to go into Rebel which is the dark brown and put it a little bit at the end of the corner here mm -hmm. I'm going to go in with brown eyeliner this one's by Persona Cosmetics in the shade brown so I'm going to go into the Natasha Denona gold palette. It looks like this. Love this palette as well. Okay, so I'm going to go in the shade Aurum, which is this really pretty ooh, gold right here. It's very light, but I'm going to put it in there in the inner corner. Boom, like a little precise brush, so something like flat like this. And I'm going to wet it. So I'm going to go in that shade. The excess. 
I love to wet my brush with the Glossier Soothing Mist. Yeah, I like it. I went a little too high. Now I would wear this look for like a Thanksgiving dinner. I think that would be really, really pretty. All right. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go in with some eyeliner. I received this in one of my Birchbox subscriptions. I haven't used it. Manica Dar Beauty Idyllic Gel Eyeliner. Looks like so. Looks like this. I've never used it. It's like a nice crayon. Um eyeliner and it's black so we'll see how that looks we're gonna do this oh that's much better ow this is why i don't do eyeliner y'all because this shit is so painful it's a good eyeliner though <laughs> i'm gonna do this i'm doing it with the beauty blender so i don't my stupid fingers don't imprint on my makeup before I put mascara on, I'm just gonna finish my face up a little I'm gonna zoom you guys out I'm gonna go in first with highlighter I'm gonna go in with Melt Cosmetics highlight in the shade Gold Ore Ore I don't know um, for that I'm gonna go in with this little brush over here by Sigma this is a high cheekbone highlighter this is also a very pigmented highlight, but for the holidays, it would be perfect. Ooh. Huh. This is just like whole other level. A little bit on the nose. Beautiful. And then for bronzer, I'm going to go in with Laura Mercier's uh, Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer. It looks like so. This is in the shade number four. Just like hugs my cheeks really well. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then for blush, where did it go? I'm going to also go with the Laura Mercier product. Uh, it is her Second Skin Cheek blush in the shade winter bloom it's really pretty it has a little bit of shimmer in it and i just like to go in with this not too much just a little bit of color on the cheek and as always i'm just gonna do my mascara really quickly and then we'll be right back awesome i'm actually gonna go back into a little bit of a darker brown eyeliner this is by Marc Jacobs this is in the shade um, brownie that's cute there we go I'm gonna go back into the highlighter that I used by Melt Cosmetics and dip my little brush here and highlight the inner corner it's very lightly Okay, so for lipstick, I've been really liking this combination, but as always, I love to line my lips. So I'm going to go on Kylie Cosmetics Ice Latte Lip Liner. I'm going to go in with a Dose of Colors. I'm going to use two of her shades, Cork and Knock on Wood. I'm going to first go in with cork looks like this oh my god like how pretty is this brown and then I'm gonna go in with knock on wood just a little bit lighter and apply it on top see I'll get closer Mm -hmm. and it's just like the perfect brown mix 
So that finalizes this fall look. I hope you guys, as always, I hope you always enjoy my videos. Thank you all for watching as always. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! That was weird. Bye. <laughs>